Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, today is uh, January 8, 2022. Alhamdulillah, we are going to start a new IT training session. Main, mainly, we'll be uh, <coughs> starting uh, with uh, QA quality assurance testing with, with manual. So there are different, many kinds of testing, like <coughs> the simple one is manual testing and this is the foundation and then there's automation testing so we will discuss all possible uh, kind of testing and then as well as software development basic software development life cycle software testing life cycle software development process database uh, and query development process and uh, some kind of programming maybe programming with java whoever are capable and interested in so inshallah we'll see whatever we can do so <clears throat> i will invite my friend my uh dr lutfar rahman khan uh, to start with our first lecture today he is an expert in this line and he has long time experience even long time uh, more than me so in this uh, field in <clears throat> testing and manual and automation testing. So I will invite him, Dr. Lutfar Raman Khan to start our uh, lecture and he will share his screen. So Dr. Lutfar. Uh, yeah, Dr. Mukhtar. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like to continue. Uh, so could you please stop uh, share your screen? Okay. Let me see, I think Hold on a second. Multiple participants can, yes. Okay. So, can you see my screen? All? Yes. Hi, good morning. How are yes. you? All? Good. Uh, so, could you please give me, I mean, the little bit overview of you? I mean, the, from where you are uh, connecting with us, I mean, the state as well as name and maybe the educational qualification. I'm not sure, but uh, feel free to share and let me know. Yeah, yeah, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. If you don't, if you feel hesitate to, to say in detail, you don't need to say. Just stay, say your name and where are you done from. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, please, someone. Zahangir from Atlanta. Okay. I'm the Sultana from Maryland, but currently I'm uh, staying some days in Bangladesh. Okay. I'm Saeed, I'm from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, good morning to everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Myself, Don Mai from Atlanta, Garaville. Okay. Good morning. I'm Azim Utimamu from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mohammed Ismail Hussain. I'm from Bangladesh. Okay. Okay, I think so. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, everyone. So I can continue. Uh, so the, the course is, uh, I mean, the uh, QA, QA, quality assurance. So there are some I mean, uh, 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 instruction or something we need to know uh, so that uh, we can get into a uh, job easily. Uh, uh, so I would like to go with, through that process actually. Not uh, this uh, actually, uh, not only the book based, 
uh, sometime we are supposed to do something with the in hand i mean the practical as well as uh, you know uh, uh, based on our experience i mean the how is going inside uh, the company uh, so uh, we would like to know uh, actually how the people work in inside and uh, practically uh, <clears throat> so quality assurance given this book we can share this book uh, but before that, I need to get uh, actually a permission from Dr. Mukhtar Hoshan, uh, and maybe we'll put this book in a common place and uh, everybody can get this book. Uh, so um, I will not go through all the book contents uh, because uh, most of the time we don't need to know. We don't want to get, uh, I mean, the everything. Uh, because uh, due to getting uh, preparation for the interview, uh, sometime overloaded, uh, I mean, the information does not help us. So uh, basically we'll go through uh, with the base, I mean, the guideline, whatever we, we need. So um, yeah, let me, software testing, basically uh, what we are doing, we are doing the software testing. So we need to know some uh, software. What is software? Uh, do you have any uh, uh, idea what is software or example of software? Anybody, can you give me some example? Like any application name, any software name we are using in our daily life? Yeah, we are just right now, we are using Zoom. Mm -hmm. We are using Zoom for our class. Okay, okay. so. Uh, Microsoft and, uh, Excel PowerPoint. A PowerPoint and then anything? Google. Uh, so I can help you, for example, uh, if you want to buy something in the online, huh? is there any company name or any uh, yeah. website name? Do you know? Yeah, Amazon Flipkart. Mm -hmm. Amazon Flipkart. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, I don't want to go through, I mean, this type of basic level, this is very basic, eh? but you need to actually uh, get into this type of uh, information. Uh, I mean, the what is browser, what is uh, US operating system and some name of operating system, some name of uh, browser and some uh, software, I mean, the like software, you know, the Amazon software. So e-commerce software, basically when we do something uh, by, uh, that is the e-commerce software. And there are, some, there are something, I mean, and the banking software, as you know, the banking software, we can operate our daily life banking operations with the banking software. Uh, so if you have an account in a Bank of America uh, or TD Bank and so on. So you are supposed to log in and you should have the account and you are, oh, we do all of these things uh, with the software actually. So <clears throat> if we classify the software, I mean the some uh, software name in the banking software, uh, e-commerce software and uh, 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 you know, the medical operation, uh, some there are some software, yeah? uh, the medical, uh, uh, domain, I mean, that they can operate. Uh, so, I mean, the patient handling and uh, getting information from about the patient and so on. So, mm, mm, because our target is that uh, we'll make our uh, resume uh, based uh, on these things, so they will ask you, oh, you, you did the, uh, uh, I mean, the uh, quality assurance testing, but uh, what was your application? What was the domain of the application? Oh, I did in, uh, I mean, the banking sector. Huh? I mean, the uh, banking application. I did this testing in uh, e-commerce sector or like that. So <clears throat> that's why I asked this question. So <clears throat> let's start the second. Mm. Ah. This is, uh, I mean, the basically the some, I mean, the uh, history uh, software, I mean, the uh, uh, software back history I mean, here, you know, uh, just for your understanding. Uh, so, bug in the code uh, control the, uh, 
their uh, 25 radiations uh, uh, therapy and um, machines were directly responsible for some uh, patient death in 1990. So these are some, I mean, the example, uh, I mean, the, if the software is not working properly, what uh, uh, could happen actually? Uh, so uh, think about this one, I mean, the traffic light and the daily light. If the software does not work, then there is chance to, uh, for, I mean, the many, uh, many accidents actually. Uh, so it is very important, it is very important uh, to testing the software. For example, you are going with your uh, banking account. You it deposited uh, $1,000 or $5,000 or I mean the uh, 100K or like that. But if it is uh, don't update your account with the amount, then obviously will not happy and uh, you will not go through the bank again and again and so there are some reason i mean the uh, so uh, i defect free um, <clears throat> applications is very important very very important sometimes they ask you why we, we, we do testing why we do testing so these are some i mean the example of uh, uh, i mean uh, i mean with the um, um, a bugging uh, software. So, the some uh, and the quality assurance QA because we start from the quality QA. QA means quality assurance. The, the definition is like that to uh, assure the quality of applications or software by testing functionality, performance, security throughout the SDLC uh, and to provide a bug and defect free sop, uh, software and making sure that it, uh, it is built uh, as the client as uh, expected and needs. So uh, this term all are is uh, uh, very complex for you right now because uh, you don't know the functionality, performance, security, SDLC, and, and bug and defect. Uh, so all terms are uh, is not known right to now. So uh, and uh, so uh, I would like to say that stop it right now in here. You don't need to know the quality uh, quality assurance, but. Uh, in future, you are supposed to say exactly the same uh, way what is written in here. Uh, uh, so soft, uh, software quality. Uh, quality means that meet the uh, customer uh, requirements. It's meet computer, uh, uh, I mean the customer expectation, uh, time to market and cost of products. So uh, why? Because uh, we, our target is that uh, mm, uh, software will meet the customer requirements. Uh, so we don't know what is the requirement <laughs> uh, and uh, meet customer expectations. And this is also the another question. Uh, why, if the requirement is fulfilled, then what is the expectation? Uh, for example, uh, I mean, the, you, you can make uh, the same thing, but uh, uh, you know, the same chart, everybody does not like the same chart because uh, uh, it depends on his uh, uh, satisfaction. Huh? Uh, so uh, expectation may be different. I mean, things may be the same, but expectation, expectation may be the different. So what customer or end client is asking, uh, we need to focus on that, actually, why? And the uh, time to market, uh, I mean, in the based on the market situation, we need to think that this is up to the market or not, and cost of products. So based on your cost, Actually, products uh, quality depends on uh, on the cost. Uh, I mean, the if you yeah. spend more money, uh, there is a possibility to to I mean the make the software more uh, I mean the quality. <coughs> so then, what is the software testing? Uh, if this is the quality, then what is the software testing? Uh, process or findings the bugs in a software and help. Uh, help in uh, verifying and validating if the software is working properly. Uh, and uh, 
to detect the software failure uh, so that uh, uh, defect may be uh, corrected. For example, uh, uh, software does what uh, it's supposed to do and uh, to uh, detect the defect. Uh, why we will test? Because if we uh, do the test, test the software, then uh, I mean, the, these kind of, I mean, the, you, 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 you can uh, um, supply, you can, I mean, the provide the defect free software and uh, software does uh, according to uh, uh, the customer uh, requirement or sub software does what it's supposed to do and uh, another defect, defect free software. So <clears throat> eye testing is important. Hmm? Sometimes they are, uh, I mean, the uh, recruiter or the hiring manager, they can ask you why software is important. Hmm? Hmm, software testing is important. It is important to deliver good, reliable, bug and defect free software. So these are like that. If the question is like that, then we are supposed to reply uh, or answer the question eh? in this way. Hmm? This is the format actually. Uh, uh, to to meet uh, client requirement and expectations. And uh, if you fail to deliver the quality of software, client will not be happy and may lose their uh, business. And uh, extremely important for a tester to check uh, the entire software in and out to make sure software hard is 99.9 defect free and fix them mm, mm, on time. Uh, so here it is important that, I mean, that you did reply everything. Is it possible to uh, uh, testing, I mean, the 100% correct? I mean, the, there is no bug in the software. No, it is not impossible. Actually, no, you can say that it is 99.9, .9, but you cannot say 100%. This is never impossible. This is one kind of technical question in the um, QA industry. Huh? We can be sure that this software is 100% back pay? No, we cannot make sure actually. Uh, what could happen if the software is uh, buggy? I mean, the software uh, have so many defects. So uh, damage to business reputation, for example. Uh, if the company fail to provide a uh, quality software, com uh, I mean, the company will lose their uh, confidence in the organizations and may and take their business uh, uh, somewhere else. So loss of time uh, by not uh, testing the uh, company. I mean, the, if the company does not testing the software, uh, uh, we'll have to spend more uh, time to fix the defects uh, while the product is in the market. Uh, I mean, uh, if you want to test uh, uh, some products in the market, then you are supposed to do. Already you spend some time and money actually. So uh, in the production, I mean the live, when the applications is live, end user is using the applications uh, or software, then if you want to fix that one, that is more, I mean, the uh, 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 expensive actually. So you are supposed to spend more time and more money. So uh, loss of money, and uh, injury and death sometimes, not the always. These are the key point actually. Uh, so why uh, mm, uh, QO, uh, software testing is important. The you may lose the business reputations, uh, loss of time, it could be, I mean the loss of time, loss of money, uh, injury or death. For example, I said that the, if you don't test the uh, software for the traffic light control software, huh? 
there are so many chances. And nowadays, uh, uh, you know that there are so many um, software uh, for medical operation. Huh? If uh, the, so that software is not, uh, I mean, the uh, defect free, uh, there is a chance for death. And as you know, the, nowadays the uh, uh, airlines, yeah, they are using so many. I mean, the uh, for the airplane, uh, 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 using so many uh, software. So based on that uh, software defects, hmm, there are chance so many injury and death. So these are the key point for your. I mean, the, if somebody asks why we do. Or test software testing. <clears throat> so uh, up to this, do you have any question like that? I, I'm pretty sure this is very difficult for the first class to understand all of those things. Uh, but day by day, uh, day by day, you will find that this all, all all of these things is very simple and easy for you. So um, if you go through this book. Uh, and you just read and if you have any questions, I will reply. And uh, this basically my policy is that uh, I will go through the class and repeat the class a little bit, not like that, but uh, I will ask some questions from the previous class. So up to this, do you have uh, anybody, do you have any question? Oh, sir. <laughs> Uh, so just uh, anybody, could you just uh, uh, confirm me that what we discussed, what was the topic and uh, topic actually? So actually we discussed right now, uh, what is software, what is quality assurance and why we need and software quality, software testing, why testing is important and what is doing actually in our basic life. Yeah, yeah, excellent. So, Uh, friends, uh, do you have any comments? My question, may I know after class, can you give us a record, your class, please? Mm, of, uh, yeah, of course, we'll provide the, uh, I mean, the recording, uh, recording uh, for every class, every class. And uh, maybe uh, Dr. Mukhtar Hussain will send you uh, all of this uh, uh, recording and uh, books. Uh, but there are, uh, this is the first class, I'm not sure there is some enrollment process. Uh, so if the, everybody will complete the enrollment process and make sure then he will share all of this information. Okay, okay. Thank, you, sir. thank you. So, so uh, should we provide inbox our email ID? No, we have a YouTube channel. So you know that we have a YouTube channel, uh, CTR Guru. So uh, please share your screen. Uh, uh, so please open ICTR Guru YouTube channel on on a screen. Or, uh... mm. So this is the, the, you can go through. Okay, I can. <clears throat> okay, now can you see my screen? We have a YouTube channel. It's called ICTR Guru. So if you just go to youtube.com. So Sister Sultana, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so if you, if you go to youtube.com YouTube. YouTube on a, <clears throat> any web browser, like Google yeah. Chrome or Safari, then yeah. uh, search for ICTER Guru. Okay. Okay. So, or it, it can be a single word or double word, then Okay, you should see ICTR Guru. This is our channel. So please subscribe. Yeah. Click click on the subscribe button and subscribe. Then click on the link here on the name ICTR Guru. Then you will see playlist. Then you will see this playlist. And yeah. on the top playlist, you will see the ICTR Guru YouTube training, quiz. IT training 2022 lecture videos. Yeah. Okay, so all of our lecture videos will be available here. Yeah, so Google this is our first introduction. This is our first introduction class that we had last week. And this is the second lecture. And mm -hmm. these are the some lectures from our previous uh, previous session. Like we conducted another training session in 2018. Mm -hmm. So we will add some videos from our previous uh, 
recorded previously recorded video but all of our videos we will be added here will be adding here okay so you can watch anytime you can watch anytime and at this time that as dr luthor said that so <clears throat> right now we are this we'll be discussing things many things many new term you will hear maybe for the first time don't uh, like feel shy to ask question or don't uh, hesitate <clears throat> or don't think that this is the last time that only one time you will be hearing maybe we will be repeating same times again and again most important time thank you okay? so again and again we will be, will be repeated okay. one more thing that if you do not speak then please keep yourself muted and whoever will be whenever you want to uh, talk or speak out please unmute yourself okay then and feel free to uh, ask any question whenever whenever you have any question let us make Thanks. this class course as an interactive session okay as an interactive session that means question and answer type session. and please give full attention whenever you are in class please Spend this time 100%. Give a, a full attention. Do not use any other devices. Like, do not do anything else on your phone or something else. Okay? Please give full attention. Then, inshallah, it will be succeeded. Okay, Mono, go ahead, please. I stop sharing. Okay. Uh, so there are some uh, key terms in, in QA industry actually for uh, our interview and we need to know some basic stuff actually uh, who are working uh, with us, uh, um, the, what is the key term of them, for example PM, if no one will say that the project manager, everybody in the industry, oh our PM, huh? PM said this, did you get the email from PM uh, or like that. So, so BA, uh, did you connect with BA? Uh, so BA means business analyst. So uh, PM, uh, project manager. So what project manager do and uh, what is the duty of uh, business analyst and uh, product manager? Uh, you know, the PM is here, uh, the product manager, P PM, the project manager. So you know, what is the difference actually product manager and the project manager? Nobody will, maybe not, this is not the question, but uh, for your uh, daily um, you know, working uh, uh, duty or getting email or something there are some conversation there are some meeting uh, oh the product manager or sme eh? uh, <clears throat> said that this and that so sme subject matter expert <clears throat> and uh, the developer developer or the programmer and qa tester eh? uh, maybe not they will use the qa tester the qa eh? Uh, did you connect with QA uh, uh, in the industry and means that they, oh, they are the QA tester? Hmm? <clears throat> so, um, uh, project manager. Uh, so, do you have any idea about the project? What is project? And then we need to know the project manager. You know, the, if we want to develop a, a software, I mean, the we're running your business, you want to develop a project for example you know the amazon amazon running their project with the software so uh, they may have i mean the different different project huh? the every company have um, i mean the mostly uh, i worked on, over there they have a couple of project uh, two three four or like that uh, so um, the project manager uh, the, the in person actually uh, meeting the um, uh, 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 managing the project and uh, 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 prepare the uh, project plan. Huh? I mean, the character responsible for uh, 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 consistent uh, reporting, risk uh, uh, mitigations, and timeline and the co cost control. 
I mean, the, if you want to develop a software, for example, uh, here we are thinking that we need a, uh, a software, I mean, the online uh, training uh, uh, software, Dr. Mukhtar is planning for that, huh? so that the student can understand what is the course outline and when we start and what we what we'll do and, and, and like that. So maybe uh, uh, we need to plan uh, how much we can spend and what would be the content of this, I mean, uh, uh, website? Huh? Uh, and uh, is there any risk huh? or uh, how many times it may take or like that. So this time we can consider that uh, Mukhtar, Dr. Mukhtar is a project manager. Big, uh, we can, he is the owner, but he can take the responsibility or he can hire a manager. Huh? That I need this, 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 and please uh, make a uh, website for me. Huh? So, um, um, uh, so you know the responsible for responsible for uh, consistent uh, uh, reporting. I mean, the, if Mukhtar Hussain have some questions, he, he may ask some uh, question to project manager. And uh, um, project manager, I mean, the if is you know that there is a timeline. Timeline. Eh? So if the if there is a timeline, then there is a chance for the uh, risk. Hmm? If you fail the timeline, eh? I need this by two months for example, but uh, you know, it is taking more than six months and it is taking more than uh, two months or like that. So, uh, uh, so there is a risk actually. Uh, so he cannot run his business without software. So uh, project manager will uh, uh, handling all of this type, type of things. I mean, the if he asking though, I can make a normal uh, website uh, with the, uh, for example, I, I can spend uh, uh, $500 like that. No, he is asking for $2,000. So you know, it is also the cost, uh, cost effective. Uh, manager will plan how we can do uh, the things by this time and with this cost or like that. So this is the basic idea, but you know the PM. PM means project manager, so he is. So business analyst, hmm. so if I ask that, uh, 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 some questions, uh, requirement, you know, the if uh, we want to make a software, uh, I mean the website for ICTR Guru, uh, so what would be the requirement, you know? Uh, we, we don't know, uh, so we can ask, uh, we can hire a BA, huh? I mean the business analyst, so please manage this, uh, gather this uh, requirement. Huh? So do you have any idea could you, if we want to make a, a, a website for training purpose, uh, uh, mention the any requirement name or something, this could be the requirement. Anybody? The developer, the yeah. developer also has to know about the web development and web designing, something like that. Okay, so the requirement is that what you want to see in the website. For example, uh -oh. what you want to see in the website. What you, yeah, that could be one kind of requirement. Also, oh, someone, you know, the company said, can say that uh, they need to provide this service to the customers. They can mention there. Uh, yes. So, <clears throat> uh, for example, you know, the, you have a questions, when we'll start this, uh, I mean, the course. So it, it should be uh, in the website. Huh? Example, the, uh, uh, how much money uh, uh, for the tuition fee? You know, that should be, I mean, the one kind of requirement. And what are the syllabus for this course? Huh? That could be a requirement, as you know. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, you know, there are so many training Training software also, uh, how they add, uh, I mean, the declare their, uh, I mean, the business policy, all are that's requirement. For example, if you want to buy a, a car, uh, you if you want to buy a car, uh, so everybody does not buy the same car. Uh, it's, it depends on their, I mean, the um, mm, mm, ability uh, and how much they want to, and uh, how many people they want to. Uh, use the car, 
based on that all of those things requirement is different so uh, you, if you want to buy a car so what kind of what could be the requirement huh? i will ask i mean the what kind of car you want to buy huh? then you said the oh I, I i want to buy a toyota then i can say the what is the model huh? then that is the another requirement then i mean the if the model is this you know uh, so what is your i mean the mm, mm, price limit then that could be the another requirement so requirement is that what actually uh, uh, end client want or the for running the business uh, software should uh, have all of this information or like that that are the requirement so <clears throat> business analyst ba a middleman between the client and the company so between the client and the company uh, you know the client and company uh, sometimes we say the end user and the company eh? so uh, client and company company client means that he had the business mm, i can say that uh, i mean the business holder client and the company is that you know the software making company you know the software development there are so many uh, um, company they provide the software actually so <clears throat> ba uh, will uh, work for the company but uh, they will contact with client huh? so gather gather and collect all the informations about the software uh, uh, about the software the company will build i mean the the company will build the software but uh, they will gather uh, uh, gather uh, gather uh, all the informations about the software i mean the for example uh, if mukhtar hussain wants to me uh, please uh, uh, make this uh, mm, online uh, website for the training purpose then there is a uh, anybody can be i mean the ba and he will ask uh, so uh, sir what do you need huh? actually uh, what kind of information uh, uh, we can provide in the software so he can connect with the i mean the businessman as well as the end user sometime uh, and the, the student eh? we can ask you eh? so what do you want to see in the website then you can provide some information we'll uh, build uh, the software as you want hmm? uh, and i mean the end client as well as the company i mean the uh, mukhtar husain's company ict air guru <clears throat> so uh, gather all the requirement eh? uh, brd Uh, business require uh, requirement document brd so uh, creating 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 all the uh, 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 requirement 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 into uh, brd actually so <clears throat> when you gather the informations then you are supposed to create a document huh? so that documents is called uh, brd a uh, business requirement document business requirement document who create the brd actually ba is responsible for cre creating brd hmm? the product manager or sme subject matter expert as you know the another term is subject matter expert hmm. uh, person who is expert uh, in software or knows everything about the software and how it should be Uh, working or uh, if uh, qa not sure about the functionality uh, of the applications uh, and uh, could some um, could come to sme and ask questions uh, what the applications uh, and the functionality for example sme subject matter expert is a person huh? some it depends actually uh, um, uh, based on the situation for example uh, i want to make a banking software operation but i don't have any knowledge about the banking rules huh? i don't know but you know actually uh, what could be the banking rules and something so based on that and you know better than me the banking existing banking software you want to remodel the software so as a qa i know only the basic part i mean the login or the customer account and so on i don't know the mass mode like that but you need some information to testing all of these things uh, but uh, then what you can do 
you can ask the SME, I want to test this one, this functionality, but I don't have any idea. Could you please help me? Then actually SME, subject matter expert, expert is responsible for answering all of this question. Hmm? Anything, anywhere, sometime I need the, uh, I mean the company, software company or the, mm, I, I mean the business holder, they can hire, they can hire a SME based on the situation. I mean, if you want to make a banking software, then you need someone who knows really the banking business. If you want to go uh, for the e-commerce, I mean the e-commerce software, then really uh, we can expect that someone really knows the e-commerce software or like that based on the domain, based on the situation. And if you want to build a, I mean the medical operation software, then we can expect that someone really knows the medical terms and conditions and so on and what are, what their expectation, how is going on and the current business with the medical software or like that. So SME is like that subject matter expert huh? based on your subject. Hmm? So um, this term actually key point SME, uh, uh, subject matter expert, subject matter expert is very important because uh, somebody will may ask you, huh? Uh, um, if you have any problem, eh? did you connect with anybody? Yes, I connected with SME. Eh? Then you will not set the subject matter expert. You will say that I will connect SME, subject matter expert. Then you know, the recruiter or the hiring manager will understand. Yeah, really, really you was connected and you did this software testing. So, <clears throat> and programmer. Hmm? Developer and programmer. Uh, do you have anybody idea? Or, I mean, the about the developer or programmer. What is their duty? What they do? Yes, Someone who, uh, who write the code in the computer and build any software. Uh, yes, yes. Who write the code? Uh, you know the uh, actually. Um, I, I mean the who build the software. Huh? Develop the software. His respon uh, responsibility is to write the code. Actually, the QA will not write the code. As you know, SMA will not write the code. Some, most of them, that is not. And project manager will not write the code. So only developer. Hmm? Developer is responsible and QA tester. QA tester, basically, eh, you know the, our job, our job, this training is for the QA tester. I mean, the QA tester will Okay. testing the software, eh? software functionality, performance and security. Not like that. This is just an example. We test the software. If you say that the, um, the tester is responsible for eh? testing the software or the application, hmm? that, that's enough. So QA mean um, uh, quality assurance, QA tester, and this is another test. They will ask, they will say the yeah, QA, uh, um, the, how many QA uh, was in, uh, in your group or like that? Three, four, like that. And did you work on onshore, offshore or like that? Eh? Onshore, offshore, that is a term, onshore and offshore. Hmm? Do you have anybody idea about the onshore and offshore? Just uh, speak out. Yeah, I know that this is very important. Whatever you know, yeah. you should be feel free actually, you know, the nothing, nothing wrong. Actually, nothing Would you like to wrong. describe about it, sir? Describe a little bit more, sir. Uh, sorry. Would you like to sorry. describe a bit a little more, sir? Ah, uh, yeah, onshore, offshore. Yes, sir. About onshore and offshore. Uh -huh. Onshore and offshore, as you know, uh, the when uh, you, you know the, the you are working for a company, yeah, mm, you are supposed to go with the. Uh, on site, I mean the company. Uh, the uh, e nowadays, before I mean the COVID nineteen, actually we are supposed to go to the company and we work all together in the um, some place or some uh, uh, <clears throat> company building and so on. But uh, when you work with all together in I mean the based on your location, that is the onshore. But uh, you may have some team in the other country or other place or like that in the based on uh, time frame that is called the offshore for example nowadays there are so many uh, i mean uh, subgroups uh, who are working on 
uh, India, China, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and so on. So if the company is uh, working in USA, then USA team is the onshore team. And uh, the team, mm, they are working from outside the USA, basically that is the offshore team. Thank you, sir. All right. Assalamualaikum. Hello. Uh, yeah, Bolen. I, I, I have a little, I have one question and that could be a little bit out of scope. I'm just, uh, I like to know if a organization have a PO, does that organization need project manager? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, mm, PU means a product owner. Product owner and project manager. Uh, so this is, as you know, that there are some SDLC, SDLC, software development life cycle. Uh, in the software development life cycle, uh, so there are some um, methodology. Uh, for example, agile methodology, waterfall methodology, as you know. In the agile methodology, I think you know like that. Uh, so there are some sprint, one week sprint, two week sprint, three week sprint, four week sprint, or like that. So in the sprint, in the sprint, basically work the PO product owner. Product owner uh, is the top push ranking people uh, uh, in the sprint under product owner. There are some scrum master and the, uh, and the team in the team, there are developer and tester. So PO is product owner uh, in that case. And obviously hmm, uh, uh, I came to know and uh, had the PM also hmm, for a project manager. The project manager uh, he can handle uh, three different uh, scrum team. Hmm? So one uh, scrum team one, scrum team two, scrum team three. So scrum team one uh, uh, can have the one PO product owner scrum in the, I mean the three different PO huh, would be under one project PM. Obviously. So they need project manager, even though they have product owner. Yes, yes. Okay. Project, okay. project manager uh, is all in all for this project. Huh? Okay. All right, thank you. So in QA tester, and sometimes there's a QA analyst, huh? uh, QA automation engineer, uh, and QA lead, QA manager, and UAT, UAT tester, user acceptance tester. So in the QA, basically, um, we said the QA tester, QA analyst, and uh, QA lead, QA lead under uh, uh, QA lead, uh, uh, it could uh, happen the one team, like that one team or uh, and QA manager uh, in a co uh, in a company QA manager have I mean the two two different or three different team uh, with the uh, one QA lead so <clears throat> QA manager is the highest ranking post and QA list is the second as you know and QA tester is the third level like that so in the company you can work under QA lead and uh, QA lead can work under QA manager. Hmm? So term is uh, QA tester, QA analyst, QA automation engineer, QA lead, QA manager, and the other thing is the UAT tester, UAT user acceptance tester. That is just, you, know, you need to know the UAT. Huh? Right now, UAT means user acceptance tester. So because we, we are learning the key point, actually keyword huh? in this QA industry. For you in interview. So I say it many times BRD. BRD means business requirement document. 
so um, trd uh, technical requirement document uh, srs software requirement specification uh, so there are something as you know uh, brd ba uh, who create ba create and uh, trd developer creates and srs ba creates so bd a business design document uh, that is the other things just you know to know the terms uh, actually they will not ask who create or like that but just uh, you know the, you know the bdd uh, ddd digital design document uh, I, I don't think so the bdd ddd and gui gui is graphics user interface mm, aut application under test aut application under test for example <coughs> uh, one applications uh, may have different module huh? Uh, applications and module uh, will go through later, but uh, now I don't want to explain. Yeah, okay. So anyway, the yeah, application under test. I mean the uh, the application you want to uh, test. Uh, that is the application under test right now because you can uh, test one applications. Uh, you have three applications or you have three module of the applications. So you completed one module. Then that is not the Mm, um, that module is not under test. Huh? Whatever assigned uh, work uh, uh, to you, actually for completing testing, that is the um, that application is under test like that. AUT. This is the term. Huh? AUT application under test. Uh, uh, for uh, you will use this keyword for your interview actually. Mm. Uh, how how you did uh, testing? Yeah, I, uh, I, I testing this uh, in the AUT eh? application under test. That was, yeah, I did. Um, and uh, R, uh, RTM requirement traceability matrix, uh, that is, I mean, the most useful one. And um, test data, test data, not either DBA. Uh, uh, database administrator artifacts this one is uh, sometimes this is important artifacts any documents that goes uh, into project uh, i mean the um, test strategy test plan etc uh, that is called artifacts artifacts is uh, i mean the uh, important keyword in this industry also so landing page home page not like that uh, i mean the demo but showstopper showstopper this is also, I mean, the very important keyword. Hmm? Mm, prevent uh, you from going to the uh, um, future testing or further testing, not the future testing, further testing, hmm? uh, any kind of, uh, that is called the showstopper. Because, uh, you know, you want to uh, um, test uh, something in your application, but your uh, login, login functionality is broken, but you cannot log, uh, login and you cannot land up to the uh, application level. So um, that is your showstopper. You cannot go, you cannot, if you don't have the uh, application, how you will test? Huh? For example, server, server, server is broken, hmm. then you will not find your applications. So that is your showstopper. And showstopper can, could happen, I mean, the sometime you are the automation tester, uh, environment is not ready, hmm? or you want to do something uh, uh, with some software, but that software is not available. So, so anything, not like that application is broken or uh, mm, uh, anything, uh, you don't have, even you don't have the test data. So uh, if you want to know somebody information uh, from, I mean, um, from uh, from I mean the tax you want to know somebody's the tax information I don't you don't have any permission then that is also the showstopper hmm? as you know so sometimes test you know, test data test data means that you don't have the social security number then how will do that hmm? so anything prevent you uh, 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 for testing I mean the for faster testing uh, that is the showstopper the hot fix hot fix you know the bug should be fixed right away. Hmm? Bug should be, I mean, the sometimes you want to uh, deposit your money. Huh? For example, uh, then, you know, they, you said that the, your login functionality is not working. Then what they will do, oh, I mean, the banking sector, 
oh, they will fix it. Uh, they will write a bug. Yeah, we found a bug, and immediately we need to fix that one because they cannot operate the business without fixing the bug. So <clears throat> that is uh, the bug. I mean, the defects uh, should be fixed immediately, right away. That is called, uh, I mean, the hot fix. Uh, so defect, any kind of problem, any kind of, I mean, the. Um, um, back in the applications or uh, i mean uh, means that the fault of the uh, system uh, that is i mean the bug or defect the different that you will find the defect definition uh, soon actually you find so many defects uh, when you will do testing something uh, so defects means the application is not working uh, properly uh, uh, the application functionality is not doing uh, properly or or, um, you know that this is not working as expectation. We always say that the end user, we always say that the not working as, as expectation. This is also important, eh? not working as expected, uh, expectation. So for example, I'm, mm, mm, I'm conducting this uh, uh, lecture, you know, the, you have some demand. Uh, yeah, it is okay, but it is not uh, according to your expectation. So uh, something, something, what the end user expect, end user expect uh, uh, or client expect, uh, it is not, uh, that is called, uh, we always say that uh, it is not meeting the expectation or like that. So um, then we'll say that, the, yeah, then this software is, uh, I mean, the, I uh, have some, this apl application have some uh, defects, they have some bugs uh, and not meeting the client expectation. Huh? So um, when the actual and expectation does not match, uh, we'll get the defects, huh? we'll find the defects. So actual and expect, uh, ex expected condition um, based on that. So <clears throat> for example, uh, the, you have a logging functionality. If you want to, uh, 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 get some information. I mean, the bank banking account information. You are supposed to log in. Hmm? Log in. So you provide your uh, uh, user ID. You you provided your uh, password, but you cannot log in. Huh? So you know that it it is not meeting your actual actual. If the actual is that, uh, you cannot log in. Hmm? But what is your expectation? Huh? You expect uh, we are uh, and you are expecting that if you provide this information and hit enter the button and you are supposed to go go into the applications. I mean the inside your account. But yeah, uh, that is your expectation. But it is not going. So when something missing with the ex actual and expect expect expectation, then that is a bug uh, based based on our, our industry uh, literature. I mean the QA. So, uh, could you please give me some keyword? Hmm? We have learned. BRD, business recovery document, uh, BDD, business uh, design document, hot, uh, show stopper, hot fix, defect. Uh, okay, so also we said that the PM, PM means? Oh, project manager, BA means business analyst, SME, uh, uh, subject matter expert, a developer, and QA, uh, quality assurance tester. Um, uh, yes. So, anybody, do you have any question? Dr. Khan, you have to ask two questions. Slide, yeah. okay. এখানে ওই যে আমরা দেখতেছি একটা কোথায় এসআরএস রাইট সফটওয়্যার রিকোয়ারমেন্ট স্পেসিফিকেশন এটা কি অনেক সময় কি এফআরএস বলা হয় ফাংশনাল রিকোয়ারমেন্ট স্পেসিফিকেশন হ্যাঁ কারণ তো আমি 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 বলতেছি যে ও এসআরএস এখানে আপনার লেখাই আছে কিন্তু আমার মনে হয় একটা জিনিস হলো যে এই মানে অর্গানাইজেশনে অনেক সময় ইন্টারচেঞ্জেবলি এক একটা ওয়ার্ড এক এক সময় ইউজ করা হয় অথবা কোনোটাই রং না আর কি আমি আমি যেটা বুঝাচ্ছি যে এসআরএস এ অনেক সময় এফআরএস ও বলা হয় কিন্তু আপনি এটারে ভেরিফাই করতে পারেন যে ইফ আই এম রং অর রাইট 
কারণ ডিফেক্ট আর এরর এটা সব সময় ইউজ করা হয় ইন্টারচেঞ্জেবলি এবং ইস নাথিং রং কিন্তু দেয়ার ইজ সামান্য ডিস্টিংশন আছে এবং যখন আমরা মানে সফটওয়্যার টেস্টাররা ধরেন একটা বাক পাইলাম রাইট তো ওইটা তো রেজুলেশনে যাওয়া লিখতে হবো আমার ডেভেলপারে তো বলতে হবো যে লোক দেয়ার ইজ সাম বাগ ইন হিয়ার এবং এই এই হইতেছে মানে ইলাবরেটলি আমার ডিসক্রাইব করতে হবো তো আমি যতদূর জানি যে ডিফেক্টটা হয় বলে মানে ইন্টারচেঞ্জেবলি তো ওয়ার্ডটা ইউজই হয় এখানে নাথিং রং উইথ ইট অনেক সময় ডিফেক্টে বাক বলে বাকরে ডিফেক্ট বলে বাট ডিফেক্টটা হলো যখন প্রোগ্রামাররা প্রোগ্রামাররা যখন রিকোয়ারমেন্টে ভুল করে অর্থাৎ কোনো কোডিংয়ে এরর নাই তার কোডিং কাজ করতেছে কিন্তু রিকোয়ারমেন্ট সে ভুল করছে আমাকে এইটাই মানে ধরে নিতে হচ্ছে অনেকে হয়তো এইগুলি সবই জানে কিন্তু আমাকে হচ্ছে তার জন্য যে সে এখানকার একটা টার্মও জানে না সে টোটাল টেস্টিং প্রসেসটা জানে না সে অন্য কিছুই জানে না দ্যাটস হোয়াট এখান থেকে যে সবগুলাই আসবে তা না কিন্তু এই ওয়ার্ডগুলির মধ্যে আমাকে কিছু হেল্প করবে ইন ফিউচার হ্যাঁ যে যখন আমি ইন্টারভিউয়ে যাব তখন এখানে আপনাকে হয়তো কেউ বলবে না হোয়াট ইজ বিএ হ্যাঁ কিন্তু বিএ সম্পর্কে আপনার একটা ক্লিয়ার ধারণা থাকা লাগবে যেহেতু আপনি তার সাথে কাজ করেছেন হ্যাঁ এখন মনে করেন যে এখানে পিউ একটা প্রোডাক্ট ওনার আপনি একটা এডিশনাল যুগ করছেন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ তো আমরা যদি এই কিউড গুলো জানি যে জি ইউ আই হ্যাঁ ইন্টারফেস जिसमेंस ट <laughs> जरा रेसपन्स करना क्लस टू क्लस क्लियर करना शेष पर्त कक्सेस दुरबलता
Okay, that cause that should be very helpful for us. Uh -huh. <gasps> Can I get a minute? Okay, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, you have started with a good lecture. So don't worry, we will provide okay. all materials. So all deliverable materials like this, and we will we actually I will make a group, group email, uh, Gmail with Gmail. So if you have not completed our survey or registration form, please complete it. Filling out the survey is not it, it does not mean that you have to you're bound. You're bound to pay us, you're bound to join with us. So that's Filling out the form is just to help us so that from one place I can make a group and I can uh, send or share uh, any document with all, all of you. Okay, so this is why I'm requesting everybody to fill out the form. Okay, so if you have not filled it out, please do it. But you need to do only one time. Some people did multiple times. Okay. Another thing is that today we have just started. Okay, so. So day to day, we'll see that these are the new terminologies. There are many new terminologies that you, you are hearing for the first time. And we know that it is not possible for you to understand everything today. But day by day, we will repeat it. Hold on a second, please. So please uh, mute yourself if you're not talking. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And so, uh, uh, in Jafar, uh, to the uh, uh, brother uh, Ryan's, Dr. Ryan's question. So some companies, they use different terms, okay? For different company or different project, they use different terms. For instance, I have a company, ICTL Guru. I may introduce myself as a uh, chairman of the company or as a MD of the managing director of the company or a director of the company or a president of the company, right? Or a, a owner of the company. So everything is correct, nothing wrong. It depends on the situation, whatever I like to tell. Sometimes, yeah, there are some, there are some different terms, for instance, bug or, uh, bug means coding, problem with the coding. And the defect means, for instance, it may be, uh, the defect may come due to the bug, due to a bug, or it may come due to, uh, an incomplete or incorrect requirement. So that depends on the situation. And what I said, the time to time, we will learn. For instance, uh, friend, go uh, one more slide up, one more page up. Go one more slide up. Whatever you said, uh, project manager or uh, business analyst or something. You define project manager, business analyst. In the next page, also. Yeah. So, yeah. So project manager, instead that we are familiar with PM, that means prime minister, right, in our country. Uh, this term is uh, terminology is used, widely used. PM means prime minister. But in uh, software development industry, PM means project manager. And the business analyst, business analyst, he works as a middleman between the client. Client means end user who will be using the actual software or product. So, and the company, company that is the developing company that is developing the software or designing the software or the, uh, the, uh, providing the service. Okay. And so, depends on the company. And it depends on the project. A project may be maybe a year-long project, or a one-month project, or a 10 years project, okay, or two-year project. That depends on the <clears throat> quality and quantity of the project, okay? So there may be some other, uh, like, people in this, or another group in this, in this, uh, in a company. You may have Scrum Manager, Scrum Master, okay, the team leader, Okay, so that depends on the situation. You will learn, we will learn this time to time. This is not the term that, this is not only slides that, that Dr. Lukar is sharing today. We will share many uh, other 
uh, resources that inshallah we will cover all unnecessary things. So alhamdulillah we have a good start. For instance, one thing is remember that okay, so <clears throat> software is software is a is an a program, it is a combination of some programs. Okay, for instance, in your computer, are you seeing my screen? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Are you seeing my screen? Not yet. Yes, we can. Okay. So here are like Chrome browser. This is a software. Okay, this is a software. Google is developing this software. Okay. So it'll, it'll maybe a number of team members are working to develop this uh, Chrome browser. Okay. There are many softwares, like for instance, like 20, 30 years ago, almost all of the softwares were standalone. That means in a computer, you got a software in a CD and then install it on your local computer and use it. But today, right, nowadays, almost 85, 85, 80 to 90 or 95% software are um, web-based. So that means web-based software means you are going to run a software using a web browser. And then in the web browser, you are using instead of instead of uh, writing anything in your local computer, you need internet connection. Whenever you have internet connection, what you are doing, you are writing URL of the software, the user uh, <coughs> universe resource locator, which you call web address, and the software will be running. Okay. Okay. One more thing is that the software term itself is a plural term. So, okay, so, so we will not tell software. Like people, the term people is uh, itself plural. Singular is person. And the data itself is a plural. Singular word is datum. Media is a plural word. And singular form is medium. So we will say software. Okay. So, so from our next lecture, so from our next lecture, we will start actually from uh, in a week or next lecture or next week, we will start from actually uh, testing our software. So hands-on, we will, inshallah, we will get hands-on uh, experience in uh, uh, software development. Okay, so uh, uh, today may, maybe uh, we have every week two lectures, two week lectures. So, <clears throat> so the next half, uh, so whenever Dr. my friend Dr. Luther completes his QA, his QA section, if you have any question, please ask him. And do not expect that you will get full answer today. Maybe uh, so some question answer may be not uh, apprehensible for you right now. Maybe later you will understand. And then after uh, his QA session, I will spend a few more minutes today to give you some, uh, start with some uh, testing and some testing. Sir, you can uh, go ahead for the Q session. If uh, mm, okay. I, I appreciate, I appreciate everybody to ask questions, please. We appreciate everybody, please ask questions and be active. Okay, let us join this session with uh, our make this, this collaborative session. Okay, yeah, Mandu, you can you can share your screen. Okay, stop sharing your screen. I think you, you, if you start sharing, it will be stopped from myself. I have approved multiple. Mm, I, I cannot see the window actually if you don't stop. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. My God. <clears throat> uh, so actually, I would like to give you a little bit. I mean, the uh, uh, something we will use in the daily life in the job, uh, so that will helpful and even for conducting our class. For example, that if you find in here that uh, uh, S M I, that is a snipping tool. As you know, this one is called snipping tool. We can right right click in here uh, and um, then maybe you can ping this one with the taskbar. Uh, already I have this one. What I want to do actually, if you click in here, for example, click in here, you'll find a window. If you want to just take a screenshot or like that, you do it this one, this way, huh? this one is your, 
and in, if, if open your MS Word. Hmm? <clears throat> Just search and eh, W, you know, it's coming in here. Mm. Mm. Make in one, just control V. Eh? This is in your here. So if you browse something, if you want to make a note, eh, you take your help with the snipping tool. Mm? Yes. So this will help you a lot. Mm. Please, Not can like. you show one more time? Okay. So go in go here. You know, there is a uh, search window. Search window. The search window. Huh? Uh, snipping S N. Huh? Just S N. Huh? I double P I N G. Double P I N G. Snipping tool. If you click in here, basically, I have this one in the um, um, uh, bar, as you know, already in here. So if I remove it from here and from the taskbar, and if I go in here, snipping S N I, if I right click in here, right click in here, ping to taskbar, it will come with your taskbar, as you know. So just click on this sample. So this will come and I want to delete this one. No, I don't want to save this one. Or just now I'll click in here. Mm -hmm. So new, click on new and just huh? this way. Mm -hmm. So, and after that, if you go to the MS Word, mm -hmm. W, I can say Word, W, O, R, D, just search, and there is a coming MS Word. Mm -hmm. Open it, Control V, just Control V. Mm -hmm. And after that, you can say, save it is in your location, any location. So, yeah, that's it. That is how actually. If you find that I mean the class is going on, eh? maybe recording, but you want to take a screenshot, eh? you can easily do that immediately. <clears throat> so mm, uh, we said that, for example, Google, hmm? Google, hmm? Google Chrome. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. So then is there is a search bar and there are some uh, uh, things I mean the uh, hyperlink window and you can easily log in with this one. Huh? So if you want to know actually what is going on the inside, huh? how it is coming in here. So develop, what did the developer? So just right, right click and inspect, as you know, inspect. So developer write this code. Huh? Hmm? And here, like this way. So, developer will write the code. This is the code for this website. Huh? And we are just um, getting the URL from the server. So, already Dr. Mukta sir said that the uh, uh, web page, uh, this uh, any website, any website, any web page, any web based application. So, any web based application hmm, comes from server. Uh, how it will, uh, what is the requirement? You need a URL. Hmm? You need the address of the application. So uh, application type, application type, web-based application, Windows-based application. Huh? So any kind of, I mean, the e-commerce site, any kind of uh, website is a web-based application. And some application, some program, huh? some software is uh, based on Windows operating system. You don't need the browser. You don't need the browser. For example, uh, MS Word. MS Word is a, this one is a software also. Hmm? This is giving you some, uh, you can do some operation in here, but you don't need the browser. This is, but if you don't have the OS operating system, uh, give me some uh, name of some operating system. Anybody? It's uh, Linux. Uh? And Linux operating system. Uh? Or uh, Linux is one of the Windows. Windows. Android. Android. Mac. Mac OS. Mac. Mac OS. Okay, very good. Huh? So uh, Windows. Now I am using currently Windows 10. This one is Windows 10. So for Windows-based application, you don't need any browser. 
but any 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 in any operating system os huh? basically it here uh, nobody will say the operating system everybody will say that the os huh? operating system this is another keyword actually huh? mm, so uh, you can open the google uh, web based applications in mac you can open this one in uh, uh, i mean the windows you can so in the different os you can uh, open the website you can operate the website so web based applications uh, basically um, uh, developer use is a different type of language this is the html huh? html uh, so um, just for your learning hmm? for your learning we say we, we just know that web based application windows based applications and uh, um, web based application need the url huh? url huh? normally the web application uh, i mean the web address as well as uh, inside uh, uh, you know the or how how did you know that this in you know, what happened in here just right click and inspect hmm? this is not important for you right now but you know that a uh, basic code is in here huh? so so developer developed this code huh? developed this term in your team there is a developer <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, and also we said that the application type, software type, because we are supposed to know uh, the what was your domain. Huh? You work on banking, banking domain software, I and mean, the banking software. Uh, we work on uh, 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 medical software, huh? medical domain. Uh, I mean the uh, uh, medical care, and as well as we work on. Uh, e-commerce software. E-commerce software means uh, something you want to buy from the online. Hmm? There is something. So, for example, you work for the Nike. Nike. Nike is a company. As you know, they uh, they sell so many things hmm? for sports things, huh? sports materials or like that. So, how did you work on that? So, you somebody. Oh, I'm looking for the e-commerce domain people. Huh? You your resume will tell that. You work on like and how you work. That was the e-commerce site software. Oh, I work in bank, Bank of America. Oh, I work for, I work in TD Bank. So, what was the domain of your software? Huh? Banking software. So, you, you work for, I mean, the uh, <coughs> medical care something. Huh? So, um, for there are some minute clean, uh, clinic, emergency, huh? emergency, some clinic. There are something. So you work with the medical uh, domain software so basically based on that requirement they don't actually looking for uh, you know the i he knows this that's why i will hire you because you know the sdlc you know the software testing the automation testing manual testing but based on your domain knowledge and the most of the time I'm okay. I'm done. so based i mean the based on your domain knowledge so you clearly understand what are the domain, eh? e-commerce domain, eh? finance yeah. domain, eh? medical, uh, medical domain. care domain. So, yes. uh, so this will help you uh, for your interview. They know that you know more than more than me, but based on your domain, they may hire you. So, particularly domain-based software, according to will will this actually? Uh, I mean, the, what is the financial domain and what was your module as well as uh, I mean the what is e-commerce domain or like that uh, we'll explain some example so for your basic idea day by day we know that you know, we have a mm, uh, operating system different operating system you said that Linux and as well Windows in a Windows Windows 10 eh? Windows 10 uh, 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 you know the, the before that uh, we have okay, Windows 7 uh, XP or like that, and go a little bit back, not like that. I mean, the uh, only one thing, or so like that. And browser, different type of browser, uh, Google Chrome, IE Internet Explorer, nowadays, uh, uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, Edge that is called, and also, um, um, uh, you know, the Safari, uh, uh, Safari and Opera or like that. So basically, and uh, uh, USB, uh, 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 these are the browser. So these are the browser and uh, OS as well as uh, client and 
cl uh, client server and sometime you know the server based so get some idea about the server and uh, and your i mean the local pc hmm? so these uh, and the web based application comes from server so this is our actually little bit update i mean ourselves and that will help uh, help us a lot uh, to uh, software testing industry uh yeah i can go i can go so I have it here let me span So today I will explain this one. You know, we said that the requirement, most important things, most important things in a uh, software testing or software development testing uh, is the requirement. If you don't understand this requirement, then that is, I mean, the really, really problem. So we say it requirement is that what we expect what we expect for example if you want to buy a freeze then what is your question yeah i want to buy this company freeze size should be this color should be this uh, and price should be this these all are the requirements. if you don't provide the requirement then i cannot give you the i mean the uh, uh, materials or object what you want so uh, for the but, but what is the requirement for the software testing huh? Uh, requirement based on the project i mean the what uh, your clients clients means uh, for example i can uh, develop a, a web based uh, uh, website for uh, icdr guru right now then obviously i need to ask to my client client is in here muktar hussein icdr guru company they are the client i need to ask anybody i mean the so what you expect from from me what i need to develop then those are the requirement for example uh, i can say right that the, he may say it that and the i mean the my student should get information about the syllabus so i obviously i need to provide the syllabus of the website huh? that is one kind of requirement and he can ask me that yeah please give me a login login functions uh, in the website i don't want to see a, every non student can see my content i don't want that so obviously his requirement is that i have to provide some login functionality then login functionality is the one uh, i mean the one requirement then what is the requirement specification as you know the login how will how will and uh, login with the user id and password okay user id and password and what kind of user id you want i mean the six character user id and uh, user id should carry on i mean the one special character or uh, it could be any smaller small letter or it should have one cap letter or like that as you know that login functionality is the requirement but requirement specification is like that hmm? particularly what kind of uh user ready you expect from me and that is the specification so specification is little more de detail so here you know the, the, what is requirement and what should be the requirement and if anybody ask you the questions requirement is that what client want or uh, desire from a from from the software you can say that so requirement shetai zeta client eh? client amar software the client my example icdl guru amar kache mane chaatche je eta software er moddhe thaku so shei tai requirement je eta software er moddhe thakbe ba application er moddhe thakbe so uh, what client wants uh, wants the wants to cover uh, system to do huh? any any work i can you can use the first line and you can use also the second line all requirement should be smart smart for i mean the not the right now like that so that you can remember with the word smart smart means specific eh? requirement should be specific eh? 
tar requirement should be measurable requirement should be attainable mm -hmm. but the, uh, i mean the you you are expecting something that uh, that is uh, not possible to provide huh? the requirement should be relevant for example mm -hmm. this is the website but you are want to put the other information here here that uh, that is not good practice huh? you want to uh, keep so many information from the other i mean the this is website for the uh, training purpose but you want to sell something in here huh? maybe that is not good huh? not that relevant or something mm -hmm. is a little bit different or like that and time bound requirement shetai hote hobe je eta ami oi time er modhe korte parbo ha orthat so requirement should be is a requirement should be clear huh? complete uh, reasonably <laughs> detailed huh? and cohesive and attainable whatever mm -hmm. you want mm -hmm. and testable and you want yes. to test and that is for example if if we uh, something is not in your hand and that is not actually possible that is not so requirement is that uh, um, what clients want hmm, uh, from the system requirement should be clear complete uh, uh, reasonably detailed not like that cohesive that is maybe the, the key uh, attainable and testable like that you know, whatever the word you can take from here i mean the two or three or four like that but that is the best answer for you hmm? so this is the requirement and sir, requirement. sir i have a question sir okay sir requirement lock is also required or need to in the software testing uh, again please requirement uh, 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 requirement lock yeah, that the, after the locking requirement then no are uh, uh, no are requirement add in the uh, existing software requirement lock ah uh, should sometimes say requirement should be locked sometimes uh, people say requirement should be locked uh, uh, that is in the different that is basically based on your process i mean the what process you are working if you working in okay, a sprint ha huh? if you in a sprint yeah. if you are in a middle of the sprint then you cannot uh, update huh? requirement stop should the, be stop the, stop uh, the, yeah requirement should be locked yeah, yeah, requirement yeah. should be uh, freeze huh? freeze okay, like that okay sir okay sir okay sir i'm okay thank you is this after done the project <sighs> uh, no not like that that is a completely different and will grow through actually i mean okay. the half the requirement is locked and should not change actually in the middle of the process there are some called in the sdlc process sprints process eh? you cannot do that that is not the good practice but in a common always requirement is not uh, for all uh, i mean the um, sdlc process it is not um, actually not fixed eh? it is depends on the development process eh? not the project uh, flow so there are some sdlc process software development life cycle sdlc so yeah. what are called model and as well as uh, you know uh, mm, mm, agile model agile model so in the agile model there are some mm, term called pre sprint in the sprint there are the duration within the duration when you assigned all the work you cannot change the requirement or like that for the development purpose that will hamper the i mean the timeline uh, you cannot deliver uh, with the particular timeline what you expect uh, for example mm, uh, you are making some mm, food or you are making some uh, uh, some uh, some i mean the i can say that uh, i am making a, a house huh? i already just built i mean the everything half, half way done you are saying that no i want this uh, two also then that will take a time so sometime based on your process based on your expectation based on your i mean the because i am committed to do this by this uh, time and i am committed to do this with the with this i mean the project budget but you are something more eh, in the middle of the project you cannot do that eh? in that case requirement should be fixed and should requirement should be clear or like that so that is the totally different things not right now okay
uh, so basically non requirement term is called the performance uh, reliability uh, security um, uh, the usability or like that so these are term the performance huh? uh, so uh, we do in here the performance testing and reliability uh, and how often we, uh, we can do that and uh, how I'm expecting that will be fine for uh, this many years or for this time or like that. And security issue. Huh? Mm, I have a, uh, I can provide your information in my website, but obviously I need to think that huh, this information should be protected. Huh? Uh, it, it, we, we, we don't think that the, this is the public wide, everybody can see that if it is administrative or like that, because we can collect your driver license, we can connect your social security, but obviously you need to provide the security. So, and also the uh, usability, user-friendly or something, you will use my website, but if you find that, no, this is not user-friendly. Huh? Uh, I mean, the, you, you cannot see the content properly or sometime um, you are, going to the website is it taking time it is just spinning spinning and spinning or like that so uh, you have the information you will get the information but it, it will take time uh, as well as uh, based on your content based in the workflow i mean the some information uh, is uh, not the information sequence is is not correct for example now today if i just started with SDLC motor release. You don't know that, but you don't know the testing, but I'm going to the other part, in the advanced part, in the very, very fast. Uh, so sometimes the process, sometimes the application, sometimes the functionality, uh, mm, and not the user-friendly. Based on the user-friendly situation, you know, you know the uh, end client, the user are used to, uh, they, they will be happy. They will be, mm, they will come again and again for example, if you want to buy something from a website, yeah? oh, you will go that that picture is not good. Hmm? So obviously you have you have a doubt, yeah, the what could be the quality of these um, materials and so on. So it is very important, yeah? uh, usability, user friendly, easy and uh, to use. So what is your expectation from the uh, from the website. So uh, we said that the something is requirement, something is non-requirement. Non-requirement is term is performance, reliability, security, and usability. Huh? That is good. If you know at least three, huh? uh, performance, reliability, and security, that's enough. Huh? Or if you know the reliability, security, usability, that's enough also huh? at least three. Yeah, thank you. Uh, actually, if you have any question, Excuse you can ask me. me. Okay. Excuse me, I, I actually, I understood the requirement part. That means uh, what kind of need uh, or desire for the, for, the, for the system or software, but I could not understand the non-requirement part. So non-requirement part means uh, they don't have any requirement, right? Mm, yes, uh, they will not ask like that. Uh, uh, I mean, the, I need this kind of functionality in the applications. But that is, uh, the non-requirement is that you are supposed to take care of this. Not like that, not mentioned like, properly in the document, but you need to take care of these things. Um, the, that, that means they already have everything? Uh, uh, no, that means, I mean, the requirement should come in the BRD, but this term is not included in the BRD or BRS. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, it is not documented. It's a slight, yes. sorry, it's, uh, see, so can I say something? Okay, of course. Yeah, about the previous question, uh, like something as a input numbering. Uh, sometimes people now in the uh, the place where uh, should uh, enter the uh, number, but people enter alphabet. It's not uh, it's not working. So system sometimes need to. Uh, sometimes system need to uh, add this uh, uh, requirement. 
they, they did not uh, apply alphabet only accept only accept the numbering 0 to 9 mm -hmm. this, is, this is something this is like non requirement Mm, mm, that is uh, not uh, like that the uh, uh, non requirement uh, that could include in the BRD if you expect something mm. okay but okay. Uh, non requirement is it is not the application functionality based on that there is nothing functional yeah, yeah, yeah. for example no. performance uh, uh, it is spinning yes. spinning or like that and uh, this is not the functionality uh, based and so on they may be or may not be included in the uh, BRD. BRD, huh? BRD okay. is re basically reliability. How you re uh, um, how can you rely, rely on the software BRD. and the security and so on? That terms at the non-requirement, actually. Okay, sir. I'm thinking in the industry. Uh, basically, yeah, we expect that it should be, uh, I mean, the old document, uh, we, we are expecting the performance and the reliability and security and so on. But in the industry, basically, the terms for the non requirement is that hmm? we need to consider that way. Because we cannot do anything without document, we, we cannot do any, anything. Uh, 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 without documents means, uh, but uh, you know, the performance, reliability, security, uh, and uh, usability. Uh, usability, I mean, the how we'll define the, uh, uh, the usability, user-friendly, easy to use, and so on. That is, uh, I mean, the one kind of um, common sense and uh, uh, to make your software, I mean, the more uh, quality, provide the more quality, you need to think that, that things, but that is not coming with the uh, functionality. Functionality okay. means that, I mean, the you know, the, the login functions and you want to see all kind of uh, content or the lecture videos and so on. That is, uh, should be included in the uh, website or like that and ex expectation will come with the BRD uh, specifically. Yeah, that's it. So, the next class on Monday, next class on Monday at Tuesday. 9 p.m. Uh, oh, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Tuesday or Wednesday, please? Tuesday. Tuesday, okay, thank you. Tuesday was Wednesday Bangladesh time, right? Bangladesh time always the morning. Yes. Bangladesh time always the morning. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Bangladesh time morning actually. Shokal noi time ono hai Bangladesh show hai na? No, it should be uh, uh, eight. चेस्टा कर खुब कम क्लस बुधवार सकाल so please, if you miss a lecture, please watch the recorded video ahead of time. Inshallah, Inshallah. Yeah. Then so next. Before the, yeah, before the next lecture, if you if you miss a lecture, so before the next lecture, you must watch the previous lecture. Okay, okay. Thank you. The next lecture Saturday, Inshallah. I will try inshallah. all the best. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have a good start. We have a few more minutes, actually. Uh, we intend to complete our session in, in two hours, every, uh, every session. So does anyone, any, has, has anyone any question to Dr. Lutfar? Uh, 
But I yes, so how sorry. I get the lecture? I didn't understand it. How I get this lecture record everything? So I, I just said that go to YouTube and then uh, actually if you have filled out the form or if you are in the I already uh, did. Your, you said that I did okay. three times. Okay, then you will get it. You will get it. I will email you. I will email you the link. Email? It. Email is better. So yeah. Then I yes. Will. So one time just go to ICTR Guru in uh, YouTube channel. Uh, uh, you will get it in the email, oh. in email or and or uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank Assalamu alaikum shawaike. Have a good day. Alaikum assalam. Alaikum assalam. Before we wrap up, I have I wanna make five more minutes. Okay, please stay with me for five more minutes. So, Bondo, okay. I can I have five minutes? No, no, of course, yeah, of course, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I'm sharing my screen for five minutes. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have a good start. So uh, you, you, you learned that <coughs> software testing is an important part of software development and delivery. So without uh, testing a software, like a sophisticated software and, and a costly software, it is not released. So that, that means the software tester has an important role in software development. If you do not release a software, if you do not say it is okay, then it will not be published. Okay, or the new version will be published. So we, we learned that the basic or foundation of software testing, we will start from manual testing. But one thing is that we said, <clears throat> so there are different kinds of testing. You, you have learned about, you have heard about uh, manual testing, right? Then let we will go automation testing. Automated testing means that whatever we do manually, we will do it writing a program that will be uh, <clears throat> done or run uh, time to time or every night or every day or after some time. So you see that this is a Google Chrome software, right? So we see that. So how do we test this? So for instance, Manually, we can check either the about button works. Okay, if we click on the about button, it should go to the about page, right? And then if we click on the back arrow button, go to back, it should go back to the home page, previous page, right? So if we click on the Gmail button, it should run my, open my Gmail. Or if you we write something over here, and then do search, it should work. So first of all, we check manually whether this functionality work. Okay, what does not work? Usually what happens that if something works today, it is not guaranteed that it will be working tomorrow or otherwise. Sometimes what happens that some functionality is, are working today, but it may, may not be working tomorrow. The reason is that the software is always updated with, or with new more features. So when we add new features, maybe it happens, it may happen that previous features can be broken. Okay, for instance, so suppose you have a house, okay, and there is a room, large room in your, in your house. For instance, you intend to make a window in one side. So there is no window, but you want to make a window. So, but if, it, if your handyman is made, he does not have any experience he can run it, open a window and then that may break yeah. your electric line of your house, right? So your house has electric line, your uh, light is working today. And if a handyman open a window and it, he may cut the electric line, okay? So that is, is a new problem. So whenever you are making a new feature, another existing feature, for instance, the light and electric power may be broken. So it may happen in software also, okay? So we do manual testing and then we do automated testing. So whatever, manual testing is the starting point, okay? And then uh, automated testing. You will learn automated testing later, okay? But before this, actually there is another kind of testing that some people do not realize. One of the, this is called visual testing. Okay, so for instance, visually we see that is this Google Chrome running? Yes, 
we see that it is running, right? But for instance, if I want to say, uh, for instance, give me one second, I see here. Too. So is this program running? No, no. sir, no. no, sir. No, right? So without making any test, without doing any manual test, or even any kind of automated test, I can see that, I can tell that this program is not running, right? This application is not running. So this is called visual test. Visual test is a part of manual testing. And manual testing is a part of automated testing, okay? So at a glance, we can see that this program is not running. That means either there is a problem in the URL, web address is not correct, or maybe the software or application does not exist, okay? Or even, for instance, this one, it exists. This software is exist. It is my uh, CTR Guru website. I will be, we will be developing this website with you and we will be testing it. So I have not completed it, but we will do it together. So within a few minutes, or I will give you one more, one minute, okay? Everybody ha have a look on this software and figure out some defects or some problems or some scopes that you can recommend to make it better. Okay, or one minute start. Okay, please think about a minute, then you will speak out. I'm exploring this software. Okay, just you will, even if you see that you will tell us, is there any defect? Is there any scope to improve it? For instance, you are a tester. I, I, I assigned you to test my software. This is my software or application. We have 30 more seconds. Dr. Mukhtar? Yes. Yeah. Do you have any application or anything that I can see uh, the radio button or the drop down list box or some other widgets? Yeah, like... yeah, there is some. Yeah, the drop down list. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, is this uh, website has a schedule or um, project syllabus or something like that? No, it does not have right now. We will uh, we will not include syllabus over here, but we will email you. The syllabus, course syllabus, I will email you. Okay, but we oh, may I, include I'm... this. Oh, I am asking, I'm asking to include this in, in the software or website for addition. No, we can add this. We can add this. Oh, yeah. We will maybe later we can add this. So we are in developing phase, right? We are in the development. So that I ask you that to find out some defects or for some some scope to improve this software after this application or this website. For so this is a web based application, okay? Anyone find any scope to improve it? Who can speak out? Someone who, volunteer, who? please. What is the question? I'm asking that is there any defect in this oh. software, in this application? Or do you do you see any scope to improve this? Yeah, you, you, you can use the logo. Okay, that is one thing, okay. I can use logo. I don't have company logo over here, okay. I can use certain use logo. What else? Be below the ICTR guru, this is not enable or I can read it, so. Okay, that's the- So it's, yeah, the, cos it's the cosmetic issue, sir. Yeah, these are cosmetic issues, yes. Okay, yeah, cosmetic, but, testing. What else? yeah, cosmetic. Okay, what else? Because you don't have the requirement right now, but you are expecting something that should go with the cosmetic. Sir, uh, 
Sir, uh, below the below the uh, banner, the uh, three section placeholder image, placeholder image, placeholder image. It should be same or uh, thing. Yes, that is another issue. Actually, there should have my own okay. pic picture over here. I should have some okay. add okay. some picture yes, over here. Okay, another placeholder image. I should have a picture over here. I should have another picture here. I should have another picture here. Okay, sir. And visually, you can see that the font combination is not good, right? Yeah, yes, sir. So you see that. So we can improve <laughs> the font be, combination. You see that there is very light color. Font color is very light. And maybe we can increase font size also for some places. So yes, there are a lot of scope. Yeah, yeah. To sir. improve this, there are a lot of scope to improve this this application, right? Okay. One thing that is that no software is perfect. Yes, sir. No software, mm -hmm. nothing is perfect in this world, right? Hundred percent, your thing is quite impossible. Sir, yes, that we will we try to make it better. To make it better, every software, no programmer can claim that I do not do any mistake. Software in my code, okay? That's that sub uh, software tester. What is testing is that that keeping a third eye. For instance, software developer has two eyes, and the third eye is the software uh, tester. So someone, whatever someone does something, it is difficult for himself to find a mistake, right? And it is- uh, Yes, sir, I, I'm yes. leaving now, yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Okay, we are done almost. Uh, so. So from the next lecture, actually, we will start, for our next week, we will start how to do testing. For instance, I asked you today that find out the, what are the bugs or what are the scope of to improve this software, right? You told me manually. But for instance, if you are employed or if you are assigned to test this software, so we should have some documentation that you are assigned that today you, you find this bug or this, find this scope, right? Okay, sir. Your your name should be recorded that you find this bug or you mentioned this uh, this improvement. Your name, so you should get credit, right? So this is why we use another kind of tool or software, whatever like called Jira, where we yes. assign our problem and scope that should be checked or fixed. And for this, so if you find a bug, you will create a new new test case, new test case. And someone else, you or someone else will will solve that. And whoever solves it, that it will be recorded in the in the system, so that later someone know or project manager knows that who did this stuff. Okay. So nowadays we work from mostly remotely. So whenever we work remotely from offshore or onshore, you know that everything should be record, recorded. Who did this? So we will learn all of this, inshallah, from our next week, so then with hands-on activities. Okay, so we are almost end, and then we have two hours almost, alhamdulillah. Does anyone have any specific question? We need to conclude now. Yes, inshallah, we'll conclude now, but does anyone have, have any question? It's uh, time over. Okay, so if you have any question, you can uh, always email us or you can put your specific question on our session group. Okay, thank you, everybody, and assalamu alaikum, and you have a good weekend.